going to do maybe today's okay so what I'm gonna do for today's video is what to look out for in an inspection and then what to expect or actually hmm what am I gonna make today's video on I don't know let's do a video on what I where as a real estate agent okay here's the issue is I am I don't know what to do maybe we'll do thrifting decorating secondhand shopping I don't know okay let's just pretend like we're doing a another vlog I lost my, I had a Merit, literally wore it one time, I had a Merit lip gloss and I lost it. So, I've had these in my bag forever. They are from Target and they actually work pretty well. It is just the Lifter gloss from Target by Maybelline and the Super Stay Pink Crayon, also by Maybelline. But anyways, I am on my way to an inspection, and then I'm going to three showings, and then I have a two-year-old's birthday party. So, work day, I'll probably work tomorrow. I'm supposed to have showings on Sunday. But, what I will say is I don't like to show on Sunday unless that's the only day that my buyer can go and the homes that went up that weekend are still live because usually if it's in a this market is a little wonky so it depends on if the home is priced correctly but if you're looking at homes on a Sunday you don't have much time to write offers so that's why I try to go on Saturdays, Fridays or Saturdays, or even Thursdays, because most listings come live or are coming soon on Thursday. Friday is a good day to show, Saturday is a good day to show, Sundays are usually when you're writing offers. So I will show on Sundays, preferably in the morning if we can get in before offers are due, but again it just depends on the market, because if homes are going to sit for a couple weekends then Sundays are fine so it just depends but today is a pretty full day maybe tomorrow we'll see so yesterday was Friday and I totally lost track of time because I had a showing at noon across town so in Littleton it was a 40 minute drive to my showing and I got distracted because my friend called me and we were talking about our trip because in September we're going to Europe and it's funny because we booked it way too long and the flight was non-changeable, non-refundable, so now we're just staying there for the whole time. I'm going to be gone from September 1st to the 20th, which is such a long time, so I'm a little stressed because most of my friends can probably work remotely and I can, but I also cannot, so... I'm a little stressed about how long we're going to be gone, but we were just talking about our trip, and then I got distracted, and so I forgot all of my stuff, and one of my cards had fraud on it, so I had to, well not cancel it, but we decided to cancel it when I was on the phone with the contact support, and so they're sending me a new card, but that takes like five to seven days, and so I only have one credit card right now, and I was running out the door to my showing because I got distracted on a phone call with my friend. And then we, so I forgot my wallet, I forgot my chargers, my phone had 10% 
and my iPad had 5%. And then I forgot my golf clubs because Miles booked a tea time. Why is this earring not? Miles booked a tea time for right after my hair appointment and I went way too long on my hair appointment when she was fixing my extensions. And so I, they were so knotted and that took forever. And then I also think that my foils were in for too long. So now my hair is just so dry. <sighs> Total shit show yesterday, but hopefully today is better. I think I'm a little more prepared today, but yeah, it's, that's good. Good, good, good. Now my earring is not. Welcome back. It is Sunday. Another day, another dollar. I am on my way to some showings and it is about 2.45 and I had a very slow Sunday morning which was marvelous because we have not had a slow Sunday morning and I could not even tell you how long. So we just hung out, cleaned up a little bit, made some breakfast, slept in. It was awesome and then I did not remember to pick up the camera yesterday but after I had my four-hour inspection I had showings and then I got a Zello call so I had more showings after that but then they ended up needing to reschedule because they need a few more months before they start looking they're moving here from Florida and then I went or I got back changed did some stuff on my computer and then we went to a little birthday party for a one-year-old and then we went to dinner with my friends and then we just got drinks with them after and then got home pretty late and we were exhausted so we slept in today and just hung out it's been super cloudy out today so not really helping with the energy levels but I'm on my way to my showings and then I am going to Miles's mom's house to have dinner with his grandparents that are in town so we're gonna go do that and then this morning I was kind of working on just designing and looking through different stuff for our basement because this winter I want to redo our basement and I'll put a picture in here but basically I really want to do acoustic paneling on the back wall in the basement in the movie room and my parents did that in their house and it looks really good and I've been wanting to just do that for a while now so we'll have to figure out where to order that from and then I want to get this like shag white rug and it has just like little specks in it that are black I believe and that's from Pottery Barn and then there's I'm in between two different tables one is black and the other one is stone but I definitely want like a more rounded table so the stone one is 
just a circle and then the black one is there's two separate pieces and it has round edges so I really like that one but I did put a questionnaire up on Instagram and everyone liked the stone better so now I'm kind of leaning towards the stone but there's also this table that I have liked on Etsy and I feel like a lot of people have it but it's just glass on top and then it has the cool like marble looking bottom piece so we'll see about that and then I found a cool flush mount for the ceiling light from Anthropology. And I think that's it. I have some pillows, maybe add some more pillows down there and then some decor on the table and then maybe a plant to add some color in that room. And then after that, we're gonna do the other like flex room area and I really want to lime wash that room and then do a dry bar and a small office space. So we'll get to designing that in the next few months, hopefully. But this is kind of what I'm thinking for the basement. I might design a couple other options and see which one's my favorite. And yeah, so on my way to my show, the showings, one of the showings or one of the listings that I was very excited about went under contract on yesterday. So we're just gonna skip that one, but I honestly might just go look at it on my own because I really want to see this house so I'll include a clip of that as well here at the end and then I'm gonna go to dinner and then I think that that I'm gonna just end the vlog here so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos next week okay and also I want to include that I do have a shirt on because it does not look like I'm wearing a shirt in that video so I'm wearing this top from Anthropology, super cute, and some flowy white pants from Aritzia, and then my Tory Burch sandals, and then I got my cute bracelet from Anthro and my earrings from Anthropology as well. But I just had to jump in and tell you that I am wearing a shirt, so.